I think it's finally happened. Midjourney has met their match. What I've got here is Magnific Open using their Mystic tool. Mystic is their text to image tool. And what they recently done is they've added a new model called Super Real, which creates super realistic images. This is not a photo. This is all generated from this tool. The quality is absolutely insane. These are a couple images I just made. I mean, just look at the details of like the water and the shingles. It looks phenomenal. If I compare it to Mid Journey, everything looks kind of Mid Journey y, right? And kind of plastic y, and it just doesn't have that same realism. So, this is super exciting because I feel like everyone's been talking about how amazing Mid Journey is, and this is the first time I feel like somebody, you know, right out of the box has created something beautiful. Yeah, sure, you could do like stable diffusion and flux and all that, but I'm talking about like being able to go to a website, type in a prompt, and get beautiful images. Like, here are some other examples I've done all using the same prompt. And these look great. Like look at the weathering and the details and everything. And this one's just stunning, right? So what I wanna do in this video is show you how to create what I've done here, go through some of the settings here, and hopefully you can create similar imagery. So I'm going to refresh so you see everything from scratch. Um, that way you can follow along. So I've got it open. I'm on the Mystic tool. Again, you may know Magnific as the upscaler tool. It does so much more than that. Now we've got all these other tools. We've got Relight, which basically changes the time of day. Style transfer. Say you want to go from realistic rendering to a watercolor. You could do that with this. So let's talk about Mystic. So just like Midjourney, you're going to type in a prompt, right? And the prompt, think of it this way. You need to explain what you want out of this, right? You can't be vague. I mean, you can be vague, but you're not going to get really nice, compelling results. So be as detailed as possible. So what I could do, a little handy tool, because I've already done this, right? I could literally just click here and I've copied the prompt to my clipboard. So I can actually just say control V and it's going to paste here. Another nice little hack is you can just reuse previous settings right from here. So that's handy. If you ever forget which settings you use, you can always look right here and it'll explain which is really nice. So I'm going to talk about the prompt first. We could do a style reference. Let's say there's like a, a moody type of image that you want more that aesthetic. That's a style reference tool, just like mid journey, right? So I'll show you that in just a moment. This is where I want you to pay attention. The model, this is the important part. This is what, in my opinion, is the secret sauce, right? You want to switch to super real. Okay. So I'm going to click that. And this is going to add the, the realistic model. Then the aspect ratio, this is, you know, the crop or the cut of your image. I'm going to do widescreen. That's this 16 by nine, right? Um, if you wanted to do portrait, you would do, you know, nine by 16 or three by two. You've got all these wonderful aspect ratios and, you know, I'm not saying Midjourney doesn't have this because they do, right? But it's, it's crazy how they were able to do what Midjourney does, but so much more. So we've got that. Output resolution, you could go all the way to 4K, but I'm going to go with 2K. I feel like it's more than enough. So engine, I typically leave this on automatic, but basically these prioritize different types of images. So the first one's for like illustrations. Second one is if you want like our super, super crisp, yet kind of grainy photograph look and sparkle is a little in between. Um, if you don't believe me, there's these fantastic tool tips and you can see Illusio is for illustrations. Sharpie's better for realistic images like photographs and sparkle is a good in between. So we'll leave that there. Now, before I hit generate, let's talk about creative detailing and this, they give you some really good thresholds of where you should be in all my testing. I found that 50 to 85, I'm just talking strictly like exterior renderings, like architecture. 50 to 85 is a nice sweet spot. And I'll, I'll do a couple generations so you can compare. This one that came out was at 83% and it looks you know, super beautiful. This is another one at 83%. Um, so generally speaking, I'd probably test between those. So then moving down, we've got images to generate, just like mid journey. You can basically toggle how many you want to come out. But again, every time you bump up the amount of images, it's gonna double your cost, right? Because now I'm going from one, which is seven credits to two, which is 14. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to hit generate. And again, this is at 51. I'm going to do another batch. I'm going to queue up at 85, just so you can kind of see the difference. One thing I will say, I do find Magnific to be slightly slower than mid journey. Um, so I've just queued this up. Like, let me copy that and go to mid journey just so you can kind of compare. And I'm not like speed warping anything. This is all real time. Sorry, let me switch this to landscape 16 by nine and I'll send that over. So you can see this is still going. 
mid journey is already starting, but you see that this is kind of what I'm talking about. It feels like mid journey is a little bit faster. See, these are still baking. It's also like giving me like really weird real estate agents. Um, but we've got our first one out here, which looks stunning, right? This is that 51%. And now this is done. So you can see it, it's definitely a lot faster. Um, but keep in mind, I was rendering out at 2K. So that's basically, these are all like 1K. If I were to do an upscale here, factor in that time. But I feel like it's a little bit faster. But if we were to just open up an image, like it's a beautiful image. I'm not saying it's not, but look at some of the details around here. Like it has that like fake AI look, you know, like look at this. And then we go to Magnific and just, this looks like a photo. You know, I have like better homes and gardens. Like if I were to glance at any of these, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's, that's a, a very expensive house, right? If I zoom in, I'm holding down Z and scroll wheel, like just insane details of like the weathering and the planking and just like how all the vegetation was arrayed beautifully you know this is a little weird right but that's that's ai for you right that's expected but look at these like craftsman details here like trim around the windows you know some weird things are going on like it kind of looks like stone but kind of like siding but again from far away looks really really good we don't get the same thing with mid journey right so this is why I'm super excited about this because this is this is like a great alternative um, and it's built right into your subscription with the upscaler. So as of like this week, I've shifted all my generations to Magnific because I feel like the quality is so much nicer. If I want something more stylized, maybe I go to Midjourney. But talking about stylized, let me talk about the style reference tool. So watch this. If I grab, let's say a watercolor, I'm just gonna grab this watercolor rose, right? You have the option of going into your advanced settings. So the adherence, um, great way to explain it. Lower values will preserve kind of like the creative style here. Higher values, we're going to respect the prompt a little bit more. So watch what happens. So we'll lower this to 23 and HDR. That's kind of like your contrast in those details. I'll leave that at 50 so we have a base. And let me do two and let me move this to 80 and we'll generate that. These are 1K, so these should be faster. So let's see what comes out. Let me switch back to Mid Journey. Let's look at these. Yeah, you know, here's some other ones. They just don't look as impressive. And I'm hoping you guys know what I mean. Like they look beautiful and dramatic, but not, <laughs> not like super realistic. This guy cracks me up. Um, it looks good, but it's not, it's not perfect. And I, I feel like now that I have Magnific, I feel like I've been taking a lot of my Mid Journey images and then dropping it into magnific so now i've kind of like removed that step because it basically just like beautifies it here so here we go we've got that um you know that kind of style applied here which is really nice it didn't really change the design too much you know just pay attention here you have that as an option let's see how these come out another thing i'll point out um when you click here you can reuse the final image so like the actual output would be slotted into here so you do have that as an option so if i click this reuse final image this would now live right there. So you've got that. And then if I wanted to reuse the reference image, I just click that and that would live there. Anyways, you can see these look pretty, pretty cool. Let's try more of like a realistic. I'm going to grab a stylized rendering and let's try that. So I'm going to do 80 and then we'll do 20. And let's see, you know, right here, this was the adherence at 81%. You know, here you can see this one looks completely different from the rest, right? It's interesting that this one, again, same settings, doesn't look as different compared to the 23s. You would think this looks more like that. You see what I'm saying? Like this makes sense because we favored the prompt rather than the uh, the watercolor. So that's, that's an interesting um, thing that happened there. All right, so let's see how these are coming out. And these are all 1K, so these should be quicker than the 2K batch we did before. And I know that because I can read right here, right? So it's 1K, that's our resolution aspect ratio, you know, what kind of flavor, you know, was this a reference or was this a pure render? So if you go down here, see how it just says the model name, and then it'll list all the settings like the adherence, the HDR. If you didn't know, you can actually sort all your views by grid view. So you can click that and it'll show you all the images you've done. Um, and these are actually some, some images I did in the past. Like, look at these, like these look stunning. Like they look like photos, like, you know, the super real is, is totally true. Like, look at that. This looks, 
incredible. So let me go all the way up. And now that's that gloomy stuff. So I feel like the style stuff, you know, you do get a hit in the quality because you are default ding to, you know, 1K. This kind of looks like the mid journey stuff to me in a way, um, that type of quality. So I don't know if like the model's changing. I mean, I guess it is because we don't have super real enabled, but maybe this will catch up. But my point is with this video, really play with super real. I, I feel like this is, this is a big deal. Um, and I feel like people aren't talking about how big of a deal this is compared to mid journey and straight out of the box, you know, Magnifics a little, little pricey, but I do feel like this kind of justifies the price a bit because you know, it's, it's what $40 a month. Now you've got a generator and an upscaler before as the upscaler did it really make that much sense. Eh, no, but it was nice to have. Um, but this is phenomenal. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting. Again, I'm still blown away by the uh, the quality of all this. If you have any questions about it, please drop it in the uh, the comments below. As usual, if you like this content, if you got this far, <laughs> please leave a like and subscribe for more content. You know, I, I'm having a lot of fun, you know, documenting all this visualization stuff and AI stuff. So it's great to see the community resonate with all this. Um, so it's been awesome. All right, see you next time.